hope that Trump continue to exist for many, many years to come. But I, I think that um, the history of the club uh, makes the club what it is today. Like it was an oasis in the middle of, of Beverly Hills. It's not too big, it's not too small. Five courts, a swimming pool, a gymnasium, wonderful chef. It's got it. It's, it's just got everything going for it. It's small enough that many of us know each other, and I think there's a sense, a, a shared community sense, that we have something special here and we want to preserve it. <laughs> At this age in my life, I'm still coming here, which seems like a continuum that never ends. We're at the Beverly Hills Tennis Club here in Beverly Hills, which is a, a secret in the Beverly Hills. It's, a, small, it's a, a little bit under the radar tennis club that's been here since 1929. I'm proud to be one of the presidents. I am the current president. I'm finishing my fourth year as president. I had my last year as president. We're now in our almost 90th year and uh, going stronger than ever through ups and downs in, of the, in the history of the, of, the, of the club, of uh, recessions, of things of that nature. This club owes, I must say, its existence at one stage of the game to the Lester and Alex Deutsch. The club was in real trouble financially and uh, they needed money to push this thing, that is, the membership did, and they didn't have enough members. And so Lester came up with a deal that his pension fund, he and Alex's pension fund, would buy the club, to, and then when the members got together with the money, they would buy the club back from him. So we bought it for 150,000, 150 members put 1,000 each, $150,000, which was the greatest buy since the Louisiana, better the Louisiana Purchase, unbelievable, because now we own this everything here for, uh, just 150 of us did, and then the price kept escalating, of course, after that. We have five beautiful tennis courts here that are always kept in very good shape, even though five tennis courts might sound like a small amount, our ratio of tennis courts to members, which we have a ceiling on, is better than most other clubs that have more courts but far more people, and so their ratio of members to clubs is not anywhere near as good as ours is. We have an Olympic, almost an Olympic-sized pool that's operated all the time. We have an almost brand new gymnasium, which we rebuilt three years ago, which is one of the things that I always look forward to as being president, is to do that. We've recreated this whole back room here and bar, all new. We have Sunday brunches here. Thursday night and Friday night, five on five it's called, five dollar drinks, five dollars to eat all kinds of food and noshes. And we have four pros that give lessons individually. We have clinics for children. We have a lot of now children growing fam new families with younger children that take lessons or we have summer clinics. During the year, playoffs, we have uh, pro-ams. We have a few former pros that are members of the club. All the tennis members are equity owners. So I must tell you, as a president, I have 194 people that have a piece of the action and have a right to tell me what they want or tell the board what they want. We have a board of 14 people who uh, are volunteers, spend a lot of time making things happen here. The social members do not have equity ownership. They, they have their membership as social members. They do not have uh, rights to the tennis courts, but other than that, they have the full run of everything else. We, we do have a, a short waiting list, but we do take new members on a, on a, uh, a trailing list so they can participate for a four-month trial period while they move up the ladders. My father was a man that wanted to help tennis a great deal, and he met this young man, Milton Holmes, on the courts, and uh, he got together with him, and they decided they might make a tennis club. He was invited to go to the L.A. Country Club as a uh, guest and to play tennis and golf there, and he went in one day, and they said, I don't allow Jews in there. 
So my father said, okay, that's it. He walked out. This is our outdoor patio where we serve our meals, where people just relax out here and have a drink or have a lunch or a dinner. We have barbecues on in the evenings, full-length Olympic pool, always heated, 365 days a year, and it's utilized from early morning to late. We have clinics for the kids during the summer that utilize it a lot, or it's open. Here we have a picture of, of Lawrence Olivier and his Myers here playing tennis. Just recently, I was on the court with Hugh Grant, was here doing a movie, called, asked if he could participate and play on the courts. Milton Holmes came out here from the east, and he joined up with Fred Alexander. I don't know where they met, but Milton was a pretty good player, and Alexander was still good at his age. My father was president. He had the money in it. Milton worked his, his $1,000 that he put in. He worked in a partnership. He was a full partner with my dad. And there was a young man called Ari Bachman, who was around 20 years of age at the time, and he helped the club get memberships. So my father had coached a lot during the Depression down in Malibu. And in Malibu there was Warner Baxter and Frederick March and, was, and an actor called Clyde Brook and all the big stars. So they knew my father was going to have this tennis club and they got together with a bunch of other people and joined the club. So he started flourishing and all the big people started coming in. It was like uh, heaven. I had read an article in the LA Times about a high school in, in the South Bay that had put together an idea for an underprivileged high school where they had no tennis rackets. So they put a deal together to put, gra gather from all their people tennis rackets so they could supply the tennis teams with tennis rackets. And I read that and I thought that was a great idea, but we here at Beverly Hills Tennis Club could do a lot better. We reached out to the high school and the coaches, and within hours after sending out that email blast, one man said he'll take care of shoes and uniforms. We had the kids here for a day. They didn't know what they were going to get. The coaches knew. A magnificent lunch on the patio. It was great for the kids. They just loved being here. They were a little bit nervous at first coming to Beverly Hills. We broke out caps for the, for the guy, the boys, to play with, with the Jefferson High School logo on it. And, and tennis shirts, Jefferson High School, with the logo and the green. And the girls had the, their tops, and they couldn't believe it. But then when I pulled off the top of this one giant bundle, there were Nike tennis shoes for each and every one of these kids. They just were blown away. It was so wonderful, so the sweetest thing ever, but more importantly, it was for us. We got such pleasure to help them. We still keep in contact, send cases of tennis balls now and again. We even sent them a ball machine that we weren't using is give them some self-esteem that they didn't have as much as other schools. So that was probably one of the most wonderful things we've done here. We do have functions from time to time that are supported by members of the club who then ask, seek permission to have nonprofit sort of things or things that we don't charge money or they have to deal with it separately. We don't take money in, for, we don't charge for events like that except for a tennis tournament that we have the pros. This painting, this color oil painting is by Italian artist Aldo Luongo, and he graciously painted this painting for Beverly Hills Tennis Club, and we've had it up here for a number of years, recently reframed by Aldo. We have a member, Gary Smith, who was very big in the entertainment industry and production of television shows and specials, still does those things. He puts together almost once a month a film night. He obtains a great old film from perhaps days gone by and someone from that film to talk about the film that was either the director, the producer, an actor, things of that nature. That And we have great films uh, that he, and he brings and he, that he interviews the person that was part of that film in some, fa in some 
important fashion, and it's something that we get big crowds every every time we do. We bring in food, we have food. I mean, we and 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 we, we have a quick dinner, and then we have the film, and then the interview with the either the director, the producer, the writer, things of that nature. And it's a great opportunity for the club members, and it's a and it's a great thing that we do, and we do it approximately once a month. feelings because I have a high appreciation for all the great times that I've had here and all the wonderful people that I've met. A series of people and families that they really become connected. My wife and I have met so many people, made so many friends here that it's a part of our life, it's part of our, our social life. So for that, I thank you for being here. I thank you for seeing our club, the Beverly Hills Tennis Club, which is a great piece of Beverly Hills and is acknowledged by the city of Beverly Hills, but more importantly, by the Historical Society of Beverly Hills. And for that, I thank you. Mm -hmm.